Dita Von Teese, if you please. Dita's coming into the store to look for some inspiration and some personal things, because she knows that I've been out shopping like a maniac. Dita Von Teese is the world's most famous burlesque superstar. Among other things, she's branched out into designing vintage-inspired lingerie. Hi. Dita. Dita's a pretty savvy businesswoman, and so she's got a lot of clothing lines going. I pulled a little bit of prints, okay. um, quite a bit of smaller lingerie pieces, some gloves, and then this entire rack is for you. Oh, great. So her attention when she comes to the store is not just for her own personal wear, but for things that she might be able to put into production. Um, but this is cute. I would love to put something like this in my collection. I'm always looking for little things that look cute with bras to cover mm -hmm. problem areas. I have an obsession with these overwire bras because um, I love the sculptural shape that they make. So I have a whole line in my uh, lingerie collection called Her Excellency. I'm using a lot of these kind of hooks on my garter belts because they really stay fastened and they really work in real everyday life the same way that they used to in the 50s. There's the things I like to be inspired by for work, but then there's the things I like to wear. I'm really anxious to show you this. Susie Perrette. That's so great. Isn't it the best? Yeah. I've never seen anything like this one before. Watching Dita in the store when she tries new things on and she's assessing if it's going to work for her is a pretty magical experience. Oh my god, how wow. cool. Oh. That's rad. I love the back of this the most. Yeah. These dresses are examples of my higher-end items that might not appeal to the wider audience that I want to reach through my website, Bravissimo. but are necessary to keep my red carpet clientele happy. This one's red carpet ready. <laughs> you know what? I want to go downstairs and get you a piece okay. and see if it's something okay. that you would consider. Precious cargo. I have a piece that was actually owned by Gypsy Rose Lee. Gypsy Rose Lee was a burlesque star. She was a lover of couture. And there's a lot of parallels between Dita and Gypsy Rose Lee. I'm so <laughs> excited I get to try it on because you, you know I have the silver one. Yes. And Ooh. there were three. There's the gold, the silver, which is one I have, and a red one, which we don't know where the red one is. I do so want to have the trio of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my god. Ladies, are you up here? We're here. Oh, my oh. effing god. But... Holy jeez! <laughs> yes. This was worn by Gypsy Rose Lee in the film Screaming Mimi's. I bought it because I really felt that, you know, what better American icon than Gypsy Rose Lee? Really? And let me reassure you, it looks great from the back. <laughs> I love the fact that Gypsy wore the actual piece. But you know what? It doesn't really belong to me. I'm a caretaker, and until I find the proper place for it to go to, it stays with me. This was meant to move, so I'm sure she did yeah. some good burlesque struts in this. If I were a really smart business person, I would put that piece up at auction. But I don't know. I really feel like that's a piece that Dita should own. So I'm going to make her an offer that I don't think she can refuse.